Hey lovelies, this is your girl JSU Kitty coming at you guys with an update. Random nothingness probably will probably get thrown in here because I'm random as hell. And um May favorite. So yeah. Um, why am I rolling all this into one video? Sorry, y'all. I'm wearing a skirt and I'm in my quote unquote new recording studio. Well, for today anyway. I'm in my closet. <laughs> I just I'm we're, I'm looking at different places to record videos and stuff. One place being my closet. Um, because it's like really secluded and like there's no echo you can't hear what's going on outside of my closet the only thing is that it's hot because there's no air vent in here so like I depend on the air from my room to come in here but um yeah Whew. okay so um dang what was I just talking about see I recorded this video once before but I didn't like it so I so I deleted it and now I'm re-recording it. So I don't know what I've said now and what I said before. So yeah. But um yeah, you guys, we moved finally. I'm in my closet, like I said. Um we didn't we haven't fully moved. We moved last Friday, so it's been a week. We've been here for a week. But um yeah, it was we did it on the weekend, we moved on the weekend, and so well last weekend, and we still have more stuff to move. So this weekend um tomorrow we're gonna be bringing more stuff here so the rest of my clothes will be here my makeup brushes y'all tell me how i remember to bring my makeup but i forget my makeup brushes so like i have all of my makeup but no makeup brushes so i have my sponsorship applicators and then like my travel sets and stuff like that but like i mean i guess it's really all you need honestly in my phalanges because honestly this really it's really been working though like i really unless i want to do like something extravagant I really don't need the makeup brushes for real, for real. So, mm -hmm. I might be back on to the basics. Excuse me. Save some money that way, too. Anyway, so, um, let's talk about we moved. We're here. I like it a lot. Like I said, we still have more stuff to move in. Well, so far, I like it. It's only been a week, and thus far, I've liked it. Um, we still have more stuff to move in. Well, I thought we were to move in. <laughs> we, being my whole family, um, everybody moved in to where we are now um i wish oh my gosh i really do wish i was living by myself but i don't have a job so i cannot live on my own and sustain my lifestyle like i i'm i'm high maintenance to to a point like i really do enjoy the finer things in life like olive garden and red lobster <laughs> sorry y'all it's an inside joke between me and my best friends it's a long story but like i was saying i prefer the finer things in life like red lobster and olive garden so i'm gonna need to have a job in order to live on my own and sustain my lifestyle you know what i mean like the dollar tree ain't cheap y'all yeah everything a dollar but if you go in there and buy five things that's five dollars like for real that's a meal for mcdonald's so i can't sustain my lifestyle my high-end lifestyle <laughs> i cannot sustain my high-end lifestyle um not having a job and living by myself like that ain't gonna work and i'm not mm -mm, me and my boyfriend we don't get along like that to be living together not right now anyway i mean we get along don't get me wrong like we get along hello i've been with him for almost two years now so we get along but now i can't wake up to his face every morning and, like it make my stomach hurt <laughs> i'm sorry I mean, I love him to death, but he make my stomach hurt sometimes. It's a, anyway, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Real quick. I thought my cell phone had crashed. See, told y'all random nothingness. I thought my cell phone had crashed because all of a sudden, it just started. My screen just started. Bloom, 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 bloom. And then it just, and it was gone. And I pushed the button to turn my phone back on. And I have a Blackberry. Y'all know these things is retarded as hell. I have a Blackberry. So, I pushed the button for it to. How the hell I get? I have full service in my closet, y'all. You see that? Full service in my closet. On my bed, I ain't getting liquor service. I'm going to have to sleep in my closet, y'all. Because I get full service in my closet. What? Balling. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. It just started flickering. And so I pushed the button to turn it back on. And it would turn on. And the little clock would come on. And then it will flash white. And then it turn off. So I swear to y'all, I thought my computer had, like, crashed i mean my cell phone had crashed i was like oh my gosh like my cell phone just crashed what the hell i was on facebook i was on twitter talking about some why my cell phone 
crashing. BCW, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'll put my Twitter name right there, at Aquamarie. If you want to know the story behind my Twitter name, just ask and I'll let you know. Because it's kind of, it's interesting. But anyway, yeah, so follow me um, on Twitter if you want, right here, at Aquamarie. Um, well, that's not the link to my Twitter. That's just my Twitter name. Whatever, it's down there too. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, so I thought my cell phone had crashed, and I was, like, really flipping out, but it didn't crash, y'all, so I was happy about that. But anyway, let me get into this, um, my May favorites, because this, I've been talking for, like, five and a half minutes already, and I have not even shown you one favorite, so, yeah, let me get on that. <sighs> okay, so they were my makeup favorites. I really don't have a lot of favorites this month, um, well, for last month, basically, I don't know why, I just really don't have a lot of favorites, mainly because my stuff really rarely changes, because I don't, I shop a lot, but I don't, like, buy a lot of makeup and stuff like that, I buy more clothing and stuff than I do makeup and stuff, I don't know, simply because I get more use out of my clothes, um, if you have more clothes to rotate out, then you're less likely to damage your clothing because you have more clothing to wear you feel me like if you get a three dollar shirt and you wear that three dollar shirt every day of course it's gonna last like a three dollar shirt because you treated it like it's a fifty dollar shirt like people got to stop treating three dollars three dollar items like that cost a hundred dollars like for real they need to stop that i'm just saying anyway so first favorite for the month of may is definitely <clears throat> my 88 warm palette this is like a life save my little brother purchased this for me off ebay it was less than ten dollars including shipping i don't know exactly how much or anything like that because he bought it for me i picked it out i was like i want that and he was like okay and he got it for me actually he was like show me a couple of things that you want um and i showed him a couple of things and i said and he said well which one do you really want i said i don't know i don't know surprise me and so he picked this one which i'm so glad he did because i freaking love it love it more than my 120 palette honestly um if you're on the market for a palette i would suggest getting the 88 warm palette before getting the 120 palette get the 88 warm palette and then get the 120 palette because most people most people's jobs and stuff they don't allow you to wear it's not really it's not really acceptable to come into work with bright behind purple blue green pink yellow orange neon flashing light eyeshadow like a lot of places a lot of jobs and stuff that's not acceptable so the really the only time you get to wear your crazy stuff is at night if you go out and on the weekends so um because of that i would suggest investing in the 88 warm palette since this is what you're going to get most of your use out of anyway you have a wide variety of colors some of them are a little chalky most of them are shimmery satiny and frosty um a couple of matte colors um but most of them it's like 50 50 it's like 50, not really 50-50. It's just, it's just a whole different, it has a whole lot of different stuff. Shimmery, matte, satiny, frosty, all different types of stuff. And um, most of them are really neutral. You have a couple of pops of color in here um, for them days where you, where you want to be wild. And it's like, it's like, what day? Not Freestyle Friday. Oh my gosh, one of the part is like um, Casual Friday. And you, and you want to put on a little color or something. There's like a couple of colors in there. But for the most part, this is, like, great for everyday looks and stuff like that. Um, yeah, if you're not really fond of bright, bright colors, definitely go for the 88 Warm Palette. This was purchased at eBay, but you can purchase these on eBay. You can purchase them. Um, Coastal Scents sells them. Beauties Factory sell them. BH Cosmetics sells them. A couple places sell them. Just, if you Google the 88 Warm Palette, a lot of places will show up with these. Um, next favorite. This is my favorite lip color. Not necessarily my favorite lipstick. <clears throat> I say that because I really don't care for this lipstick. And I'll tell you why in a second. This is Divine by CoverGirl. It's a really pretty purple lipstick. I'm going to get Berry Hot by Revlon and see if I like that better. Because they're basically the same color. Now, the reason why I do not like this lipstick is because it stains this really ugly red color. Like, I'll put it on and then I'll go to rub, like, as the day goes on or whatever, the color dies off. Like, the actual color dies off, but it stains your lips. But it doesn't stain your lips this purple color. It stains your lips this horrific red color and makes you look like a clown if you're wearing a big braid out. Just saying. But um, other than that, I really like it. I love the feeling of this lipstick. I love how it doesn't dry my lips out. I love everything about this lipstick except for the fact that it stains my lips this ugly red color that is really, really annoying. And I hate that. 
fact about this lipstick. But other than that, I really like it. So my next lipstick I'm going to be buying is Berry Hot by Revlon. And it's a very similar color to this. It's supposed to be a dupe for Up the Amp by MAC, which is this is also supposed to be a dupe for it. And hopefully it doesn't stain a ugly red color because that's not hot. Um, next favorite is this Nutria Mint Lip Treatment that I got at a hospital when I went to New York and I was in the hospital with my auntie when she had a double mastectomy. She stayed in a room that was more like a suite, like a hotel suite. And you know how when you go to the hotels, they give you all the free goodies and stuff, the uh, shampoo, stuff like that. Well, this was in my bag and it was a... Uh, a lip balm and I really really love it you can only get these like at hotels and stuff like that and on hotel wholesale websites trust me I googled it I'll look for it okay so that's that for a face favorite face products I've been using the Equate naturally beaming cleanser with moisturizing soy extracts this is comparable to the Aveeno active naturals positively radiant cleanser I've been using the cleanser and the moisturizer the moisturizer is um the moisturizer is not oil free, but my skin has really been needing that extra oomph that oil free moisturizer do not give my skin. My skin has been really, really dry and dull looking, but with using these two in combination, they've really, 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 really been doing wonders on my skin and I really, 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 really do love them. If you do have oily skin, I would not suggest this because this does leave your skin oily. I have semi oily skin, but I have more dry patches than oily patches, so I tend to cater more towards my um, dry skin in the cooler months. But now that it's starting to get warmer, I might have to switch. Uh, well, now it's starting to get hot. I might have to switch my uh, moisturizer to something that's a little less oily. Um, next favorites, I'm going to show you guys my favorite nail polishes. I have a total of four this month. First one is by Zoya, and it's in the color Gabrielle. And it's just this really pretty... Um, orange glittery sheer color two three coats and you're good to go it's nice and opaque but um yeah I really really love this color I wear it on my toes I've been wearing it on my toes pretty much all month when it starts to chip and stuff I just take it off and repaint it this color so I really really love it <clears throat> favorite nail polishes other ones um la color color craze came out with new polishes for their color craze collection this is like the color craze 2011 collection or something like that so um i picked up all of them that my dollar tree by my old house have i haven't checked out the dollar tree by my new house and i haven't checked out any other dollar tree i have like eighteen thousand in my city it's like ridiculousness like seriously you could spend all day going to every single one of the dollar trees in my town it's freaking ridiculous i love it though but anyway um Color Craze Nail Polish in BCC 587. This is called Splash. This is actually what I have on my fingers right now. But y'all, I've been moving and stuff, so it didn't wear very well. But usually, Color Craze Nail Polishes, they tend to wear like a typical nail polish um, five days. <clears throat> if you have like a cheap, like a chintzy type, uh, five days with your typical top coat. But if you have one of those really great top coats, then it'll last even longer than that. Um, excluding washing my hair, but any nail polish chips like crazy when I wash my hair, so I don't count that against these. Um, next one is BCC 559, and this is Fiji Purple. It's just a really pretty neon pinky purple color. And the last one is BCC 580, which is Sea Siren, which is a really gorgeous teal color. Um, okay, now on to my favorite hair products for the month of May. I've really been loving my African Pride Olive Miracle Anti Breakage Formula Leave in Conditioner. I purchased that Walmart, it was like $250, I want to say, a little less than $250, around $250 for this, um, excluding tax. So, yeah, I really, really like it. It smells really, really good. It's really been, I've really been liking it. It doesn't leave my hair um, oily or anything like that. Um, it doesn't leave a bad, any heavy duty buildup, nothing that like. Of course, if you use a product for like every day for a week and you don't wash your hair, of course, you're going to get a little bit of buildup, but it's nothing major, nothing that like I'd have, it's not like I have to shampoo my hair. If I shampoo my hair, it's because I want to, but I could get away with just co-washing and I'll be okay. Um, and then on top of that, I love my Moroccan oil. My mommy bought this for me from a little boutique. This is the 0.85 um, fluid ounces and this is $16 and I really, really love it. Um, it goes on my hair really really nice it smells really really good it's really 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 great i love this over my olive oil anybody who knows me knows i swear by olive oil on my hair but this stuff is really good it's a thicker type oil 
so it really can coat my hair the way your hair should be coated um so yeah you guys those are pretty much my favorites that's my update and this is my random nothingness and i shall talk to you guys later bye y'all